Oh, what's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you a review and unboxing, as well as setting up and using the Govi Gaming Light Strip G1. This video isn't sponsored or anything like that. I got this as a Christmas present, so I'll be covering it here just to show you exactly what it is, what it does, and of course, a short little review on it. Essentially, this thing sticks to the back of your monitor and shoots light out, much like the YouTube ambient option. It's pretty cool, makes games more immersive, and flashbangs even more painful. It comes in two models, one for 27 to 34 inch monitors, the other for 24 to 26 inch monitors. Those being 1.8 meters and 1.4 meters respectively. Using only up to 18 watts and weighing around 400 grams, it shouldn't add too much weight to your monitor and of course the stand. The only thing you really need to worry about is another cable running down from your monitor to a two pin large plug. There are 108 RGB IC LEDs on the larger and 84 on the smaller with a space of around 1.2 centimeters between them. This plus the fact that in most setups it won't be touching your wall means that there's a really even coverage on your wall behind your monitor. You can control this with the physical buttons as well as via Bluetooth on your Android or iOS device which is required to use the PC app that you can then sync your screen with. You'll also need a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network work as it isn't compatible with five. What are the perks of it? Well, essentially anything you put on your monitor spreads out onto your wall, pulling you deeper and closer to the content you're consuming, whether it's games or just YouTube videos. I had only a few issues with the LAN options, which is required to get it to sync with your desktop, but eventually got it sorted using the steps I'll show you later. There is a small delay of only a few frames, I'm sure, but it's slightly noticeable when there's a sudden drastic change in color on your screen, for example, flashbangs. During normal gameplay, this isn't something I struggled with. However, you're focusing on the game less than your surroundings. It's cool to have a more immersive, larger than your monitor experience. At around $60 for the smaller and $70 for the larger, it's not crazy expensive assuming it lasts a long time, especially if you get it on a sale. For my fellow South Africans, at the time of recording, you'll pick up the larger 27 to 34 inch monitor light strip G1 for around 1,500 Rand, and the smaller for, well, I actually couldn't find a local dealer or importer for this. Ultimately, it's a cool little toy and an even better gift. I'm enjoying it for sure, even if I mostly game with the lights on. Still, it lights the wall, my dark DIY acoustic panels, and even the bottom of my air conditioner at the top of my wall with a healthy amount of color. It's a pretty cool little gadget. Up until now, you've seen me unboxing it and sticking it onto my monitor itself, which is probably the most difficult part of this. Beyond that, it's just connecting to it with your phone, giving it a name and playing around with it, then eventually connecting it to your PC. Now, of course, I did unbox it before recording this, and the one thing that I left out were these little clips over here. They stick to your monitor and keep the cable at bay so that you don't see it poking around the corners of your screen. On screen now, you're seeing my room with the lights on, off, with the strip on, lights on, then lights off, and finally with my little Xiaomi light bar turned off as well. Now to get this thing actually working, first of all, you'll need to set it up and link it with your phone. So start by downloading the Govi Home app, open it up and follow through with the usual things of notifications, etc. Then on the home screen, click the plus to add a new device. And assuming your Bluetooth is turned on, you'll need to tap the thing at the top to give it access. And shortly after, you should see your new device pop up. Click add. And if you're not already signed in, you'll need to create an account now. After confirming your email address and setting a password, you'll get access where shortly after, you'll need to click add once more, then it'll connect and you'll need to hit the power button just quickly in order for it to pair properly. Then give it a name, it can be anything, and the next step is orienting your light strip. Essentially, you'll need to look behind your monitor in person and tick whichever option closest matches what your monitor looks like. It should be pretty simple. Once you've done this, it'll know its orientation and be able to adjust accordingly. Then you'll need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Simply select a 2.4 gigahertz network, enter the password and hit done. Finally, you'll be prompted that if you'd like to use it with the desktop app, which we do, we'll need to enable LAN control in the settings for our device I'll get there just now. Then it'll connect once more. You can upgrade the firmware and shortly after it'll finish connecting and you can start mucking around with it, changing colors, choosing different effects, etc. There's tons here. 
But of course, we're more interested in what it does to our PC with our display synced for gaming, videos, etc. In order to do this, we'll need to install something on our system and have our system connected to the same local network as our device, or at least somehow get them to talk. This bit of software you'll need, you can get from desktop.govi.com. Simply click down here, then open the installer when it's done downloading, click through the installer, and once it's done, we can fire it up where we'll need to log in confirm our email, and finally we can get started. If you see a pop-up at the top complaining about firewall permissions and over here, LAN unavailable, you'll need to exit the app completely, then run the program as admin so it can sort out the firewall permissions and stuff by itself. Shortly after, it should be working. Otherwise, if you've got an antivirus firewall, you may need to close it first or temporarily disable it, slash allow Govi access through it, and shortly after, you should hopefully see LAN is available. But if you see something like this, then you need to open up your phone and head back to the Govi home app, where inside of it, you'll head across to your gaming strip or whatever you've called it. It'll connect to it over Bluetooth and shortly after head to settings in the top right, followed by LAN control and make sure that this is enabled. Tick this and confirm. And now we should be able to restart the Govi desktop app. So close, confirm, reopen. And there we go, LAN is available. If for some reason you're getting issues, there's a few things that you can try to. First of all, allow Govi desktop through your Windows firewall by hitting start, typing in firewall, then Windows Defender Firewall. In here, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And in there, just make sure Govi has an X next to it for both private and public networks. If you're using a third party antivirus slash firewall, you'll need to allow it through there as well. If you're still having issues, you can allow ports 4000 to 4000 add three, and that should fix your issue. Finally, if you're still having issues with this here, either restart your PC or disable and re-enable your network adapter. For me, I'll hit start, type in device, open device manager and inside of here expand network adapters find the way that I'm connected to the internet in this case it's this over here right click disable then shortly after when it reloads right click and enable that's it you can hit view followed by show hidden devices if it's not showing for some reason and that's really it now you can see it's actually enabled so we're able to start using dream view and control multiple devices so I'll call this just dream view good enough confirm and now we're controlling this one device using the colors on our screen here when you see the section here you'll see your light strip or whatever on the far right what you need to do is check behind your monitor and match up these segments so for example if four is actually on the left select four then click over here to choose four you'll need to go through each of these here to make sure it matches what you see physically based on this over here whenever you choose something you'll see it update in real time now for me these are pretty much exactly correct so i can preview and it'll pop up our browser that we can go full screen with and shortly after loading we'll see exactly what it does so i'll take you back for this one That's really pretty much it. Hopefully you found this video entertaining. It took quite a while to make, and of course it's one of my first reviews. So let me know what you think down below. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.